So this is the third day in a row out of the 25 random pieces of advice. Day nine is the third day in a row that we talk about the people that you hang around with. And so what that tells me is that even though these are random pieces of advice, that it's important that you really look at the people that you're spending the most time with. So number nine is to get comfortable being around people who are smarter than you. And why would this be important? Well, if people are, there, are smarter than you, first of all, you're probably going to learn new things. So people that are smarter, smarter than you probably have more knowledge. They have more experience. These could be your mentors. They could be your new friends. And just to realize that, uh, and also when you hang around with some people that are smarter than you, I think it also tends to make you a little bit more humble. You aren't the smartest person in the room and everybody's not looking to you for advice. So it's good to be, um, to be, uh, you know, humble is not the word, uh, vulnerable. It is good to be vulnerable. And so it's a good way to learn new things is to pick some people that either have more time on the planet than you, or maybe they are doing something that you really want to do and you don't know how to get from where you are to where they are. And so you call and you say, can I take you out to coffee? I'd really like to know how to, um, so if I want to be a coach, I could pick a very successful coach and I, and they're smarter than me in that field because they're doing something that I want to do and they're successful at it. So why wouldn't I want them to be my mentor? What do I do? Uh, who do I contact? How do I attract people to my coaching business? And so whether it's coaching, whether it's learning a new skill, whether it is learning something entirely new, a new philosophy, a new way of thinking. Um, that's where it's great to hang out with people that are smarter than you because they're, they're going to be that wealth of knowledge that you're looking for. It's also good because it gives you an opportunity to um, see life through other people's perspectives. We don't all think alike, we don't all process information alike, and we certainly all don't have the same perspective about life. So when you hang out with people that may be smarter than you in a particular field, it gives you an opportunity to pick their brain and find out, well, why do you think about things that way? How did that help you get where you are? It's also a great way to um, feel more happy and more motivated because you know when people are successful in a certain field that you may not be there's nothing greater uh, or you know brings me more joy anyway than to be motivated to go wow I want to do that I don't want to be them but I, but I want to implement the knowledge that they've given me and become the best person I can be in that field it's it is one of the things that I love about Ula you know, what the ULA guys say is, you know, we've done this, we've, we wrote the book, we've created this coaching program. However, what we want is you be you. You attract the people that are attracted to you. Like, how did ULA change your life? And so it motivates me to have them as my mentors and to have um, Becca, who heads up the whole or a coaching organization as a mentor. And then my personal mentor on this journey is Debbie Longoria. And, you know, she inspires me and motivates me and makes me happy. And so it's just, you know, hanging out with those people that are doing what you want to do and they're, um, they're doing it more successfully than you are. So it keeps you motivated. They also give really good advice because, for instance, with Becca, she gave us a whole training class on how to create a successful coaching business based on some of the mistakes that she'd made when she was starting as a coach. And, you know, her whole thing was, 
Why would you want to make the same mistakes I've made? Why not learn from me? And so you get really good advice. I also think it helps when you're hanging out with people that are smarter than you. If you ever get arrogant about what you know or what you think you know, it's good to realize you don't know it all. In fact, um, I wish I could have found, thought about it before I started this. There is a, uh, a picture, a graph that shows that, um, you know, we know, let's say 5% is what we know we know. And then there's 10% of the things we know that we don't know. And then 45% is filled with things that we don't even know we don't know because we have no idea. We haven't experienced it. We don't even know what question to ask yet. And so it's good to get these people in with different perspectives, different lifestyles, uh, and to have those discussions. And so when you do that, I think it really does set you up to feel better about yourself because you're starting to feel motivated. You're starting to feel um, like, wow, I, I can learn something. And again, like I said, my word this year is curious. So hanging out with people smarter than me keeps me curious. And it also um, keeps, keeps me vulnerable and humble. And so just remember, uh, today's day nine of the 25 random pieces of advice or number nine of the 25 pieces of random advice and it's be comfortable or get comfortable being around people who are smarter than you. And so we close with our scientific fact of the day from the Daily Atom. It's about hedgehogs. Hedgehogs are mostly nocturnal and will typically search for food at night. They eat insects, small mice, snails, lizards, frogs, eggs, sometimes snakes. However, they are sometimes active during the day too especially after it rains. I actually don't think I have ever seen a real live hedgehog in my life. But there's some hedgehog information for you from your science fact of the day from the Daily Adam. I'm Reverend Gail Dillon. I hope you had a fabulous day. I did. My husband played last night at um, the North Beach Tavern here on the peninsula. And... We had a group of friends filled up a whole uh, entire table. There were probably 10 or 12 of us of people. His former boss came down from Seattle. We had a really good friend that drove all the way from Blaine. We had friends that came up from Portland. We had some friends that came from here on the peninsula. And then um, my little brother and his wife showed up as a surprise. So it was just a fabulous evening. And I got to hang out all day uh, with them. We went into Astoria and did all kinds of fun stuff. And they are smarter than me in different areas of their life. And I'm smarter than them in different areas of my life. So it's fun to hang out with those people and just live life. And, um, you know, as they say in um, ULA, be grateful, have faith, and go get your ULA life. I'm Rev. Gail Dillon, and I will be back tomorrow.